What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new WWE action figure appointment episode for you guys. Thought we were going to have enough for surgery. Doesn't look like it is time for that, but WWE Elite Series 98 should be at my door today, and that looks like a pretty lit wave. I'm actually excited for that wave. We'll get into those reviews, of course, as soon as we get the wave in, and hopefully that is today, or I'm going to have a damn conniption. Thought it was going to come in earlier. Didn't happen. Hopefully, it will now, but Dr. Whitekiss back again with some more surgery surgery slash appointment man should be very fun got some epic stuff here very excited to get these things going couple of things that have been cooking in my brain for a while now and i'm gonna finally bring those to fruition should be very exciting but we got some newer figures here we got some stuff that released in the last couple months we got some stuff that we just got on the channel not too long ago and we're back in the lab man so let's shut the hell up and dive into it shall we let's start off with the guys on the stretcher you guys know how we usually do let's start off left to right we'll go left to right here what we have right here is the first edition of the Ultimate Edition Jeff Hardy. Really love this figure. Now, if you guys have not seen this before, I'm sure you have. What I did was I just, I normal painted the face. It did have face paint, but I just painted the skin tone over it, and it made for a, a nice, like, non-face painted Jeff Hardy figure as you guys can see here, that I actually like a lot. Skin tone matches perfectly. It's very nice. Never got a second of this. You know, still waiting to get another loose one, but I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna switch the shoulders with his newest Ultimate Edition that should be at your target right now and it's probably on clearance so you can definitely get in on that but we have two ultimate edition jeff hardy's first release second release this torso is a lot better but that's not what i'm worried about today today we're going to be switching the shoulders on these putting the tattoo and the white and neon over on this side i know we'll still have this body paint you know leaking onto the torso and right here but i'm also going to put the jeff hardy jersey on here and that's not all we're going to be get rid we're going to be getting rid of this head sculpt and we're going to put this custom painted head sculpt on here that i've been saving in the wings forever so i think that's gonna make for a pretty sweet fix up at the end there nice little custom fix up with the jersey the face paint the white pants and the zebra stripes throw in these arms right here from the first ultimate edition i think we got some really good stuff going on so i'm excited about that one that one should be really fun you don't you know you don't need any heat for that one so that's also nice but let's move on to our next juncture you also have the middle guy right here which is going to be the build a figure doc hendrix figure very nice figure double jointed arms pink suit you can probably already see where we're going with this yeah we're taking the Seth Rollins Elite 86 fix-up. A lot of people are wondering where this head came from. This is the battle pack with Drew McIntyre. There's a, there's a battle pack that came out not too long ago. I feel like it's kind of rare now. You don't see it very often, or at least not anymore, you don't. Saw it at retail multiple times. I picked up a couple of them, but this is the Smirking Man Bun head sculpt there with the black jacket. Drew, Ma Drew McIntyre Championship Showdown pack, I think it was. Gonna be putting this head over on the pink suited body, man. I think that's gonna make for a really sweet Rollins fix-up. Should look really, really good if i remember correctly i have already adjusted this head sculpt so it's not gonna have a really small neck hole and it's not gonna be really issue we don't have to worry about any you know pegs popping or anything should be really easy just to switch those heads should be a very, a very sweet i'm actually looking forward to that one probably the most out of everything we're doing here today but i'm excited for that one we also have a ray mysterio fix up ray mysterio no stranger to surgery or appointment as he is always making constant fix ups much like jeff hardy always making some epic fix ups here and i'm definitely going to be grabbing maybe two, three, four of this figure. I think this is possibly the best Rey Mysterio Elite figure they've ever made. What we're going to be doing with this guy is we're going to be taking his yellow boots and we're going to be putting them on this old Top Picks Elite Rey Mysterio. Feels like we just got this one yesterday and now we're like four Top Picks Rays in. Kind of ridiculous, but I am going to put the yellow boots over here on this and I probably in the future will either put a black singlet top or yellow singlet top over on this guy, but I'm not going to do it here today just because I only have one of these and I don't want to completely destruct him here. I am going to put the black boots over here just to give it a little, you know, just a regular boot swap, but I'm excited to see what the yellow boots look like on the yellow and black gear and, you know, switching those up. That's the whole point of it anyway, so we'll, we'll look at that. We'll see how that goes. That should be a fun one. We also have the Legends X-Pac figure right here looking like Freddie Benson's mom with this head sculpt. Don't like this head sculpt whatsoever, and since I already have two of these, we are going to head switch this with one of my crowd members from the MDT Arena, and we're going to put this Elite 33 slash, I don't know, I it may have came on another basic. I want to just say it came on a couple figures, but we're taking this tongue out head sculpt with the headband and putting it onto the red and black and white DX Legends X Pac right here. So I think that'll be nice. And this guy's going to go in the crowd now. So we'll have Freddie Benson's mom in the crowd over there. It'll look all good, but this head sculpt's still superior in my opinion. This one just looks goofy and I don't, I don't like it, man. Look at it. Freddie Benson's mom. Outside of that, we're going to be fixing up. I don't know if you guys knew this. We've reviewed this wave the other day. It's the Mean G. 
Gene WrestleMania 39 Build-A-Figure Wave. It came with this WrestleMania 18 Hulk Hogan figure that just, uh, it has the great boots, but the torso I hate, and I just think it's basically, we're basically gonna be taking my, my fix-up custom Ultimate Edition WrestleMania 18 Hulk Hogan right here and just pu sw boot swapping it, you know, getting, we made this a long time ago on surgery, and I was gonna paint this up or put decals on it, but now that we have the official figure, I'm just gonna switch the Elite boots onto the Ultimate, so now I'll have an Ultimate instead of an Elite, because everything else about these figures is virtually the exact same, except this one has a more accurate, better looking torso and arms on it, and I think that'll be uh, pretty nice there, but let's shut the hell up, dive into the surgery, get our stuff going, and uh, let's see what all these things look like as we prepare and get our surgery started. Alright man, so you guys know how we usually do this thing on action figure appointment, I try to knock it all out in one straight move, you know what I mean? I'm not here to F around, we're trying to get out of here in 12 or less minutes, and we're gonna see if we can make it happen here today. Now, are we gonna make it happen here today? Is this removable? Holy shit. It actually is. Alright, so we don't care about X-Pac. X-Pac can chill over here, but we do have to heat this one up because it's an old head sculpt. You guys know how that does. Hulk Hogan, definitely gonna have to heat up the boots, so we're gonna have to put that in the beam of heat. You guys know how that works. Same thing with these boots. You know, boots aren't just removable. They don't just come off. You gotta remove them here with the heat, so we are gonna be doing that, of course. It looks a bit weird, but we're, you know, we're, we're, we're gonna get over it. Next up is Rey Mysterio. Another boot swap. Should be relatively easy again. Not too, too much going on here. I'm just going to do a little flip there, have one end and then the other. I'm worried about that backside boot right here, but we'll have to cross that bridge when we come to it. Now, I don't know about Seth Rollins' head sculpts. I don't think that will be a problem. And then Jeff Hardy. Don't need a problem. Okay, this is all we have to do. We just have to heat up this. After this, it's all just switchable parts. So, let's just shut the hell up. My trusty hair dryer, you guys know how we do. Let's go ahead, heat this thing up and see if we can, in fact, get all these things switched in one go. Alright, Brad, hopefully that is long enough. Now, we are going to have to find out together, and my fingers are definitely not in shape to be doing this. Been a minute, man. Been an absolute minute since we did this. My God, I'm rusty. I'm rusty effing Wallace, if anybody gets that reference. Alright, got that boot off. Coming over here. Dude, this feels so foreign right now. That's, that's just sickening. That means it's been way too damn long, man. Been way too long. If it feels this foreign, I'm I'm obviously not doing enough surgery, you know what I mean? Got the black boots over on this top picks. Now I gotta put the yellow boots over here. Which way is this? This is the left foot. This doesn't feel nearly heated up enough, but I'm gonna force it. And I'm failing, but I got it, okay. And then going over here, doing this. Yellows are a bit of a different shade, you know? But you know what? We're just gonna get over it and look at it anyway. God in heaven. All right, next up, got the Hulk Hogan boots. Should be relatively simple here. You gotta give them the old Sid Vicious treatment here. Just kinda pop them off to the side right there like Tyron Prothrow. If anybody gets that reference, my God. Legend. Oh my God in heaven, man. I mean, it's also like 5 a.m., and I've been up for a considerable amount of time, so that could be why I feel like god-awfulness, but I'm trying to get this done, you know what I mean? Jesus in heaven, man. I'm sweating, and I don't really give a goofy god dang about the, the plain white boots going over there, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't give a rat's rear about this elite having these plain white boots. I can do that another day. Also, my throat's sore for some reason. Had a sore throat for about a month and a half. God, that was loud. I haven't really had a sore throat for a month and a half. That was another reference if you get that. All right, got X-Pac going well. And now everything else we do is... Sh <coughs> uh, uh, everything... Good. Everything else... We <coughs> Jesus. Everything else we got, we don't need heat. So you got Doc Hendricks here. Plop off that head. Go over here to Seth. Plop that head off. Plop this on here. Now this is going to be absolutely money, man. I got to get another one of these Doc Hendricks figures because I think this pink suit... It's just too good. Oh, look at him. Uh, I mean, if we want to just, for shishes and gigs, just put this over here. Yeah, how about that? Probably the best fix that we've done all day. All right, last but not least is Jeff Hardy. And this one should be relatively simple again. Just a simple pop of the shoulder. Simple pop of the shoulder. Over here, remove the head. I don't know where his necklace is, for the love of God. I don't know where the necklace is, but... 
popping the shoulders out, popping these shoulders on. Now again, I know that the body paint right there is gonna cause some issues, but I don't know, still kind of creates a cool little fix up here. We also have our jersey. This came from the Triple H Jeff Hardy two pack, which is a very underrated two pack. It's got one of the best Jeffs they've done. In my personal opinion, I bought like seven of those. God help us all. Velcro that on. Look at that right there, dude. Oh my Jesus. And now if we plop this custom head sculpt that I had custom painted by BEW on here. My God in heaven. Beautiful. But now that we've done that, man, let's take a closer look at everything we've done here today on Action Figure Appointment and see what we've got. All right, guys, so here's everything that we did today on Action Figure Appointment. Really successful day. I mean, you guys can see for yourselves. It, it turned out immaculate in my own personal opinion right here. Let's go ahead and get into X-Pac. Again, not a lot of great stuff going on here with X-Pac. Just a basic, simple head swap here, but I think it gets the job done. Looks a lot better head sculpt, in my opinion, than the one previous. You know, I, I just like this. I know it's kind of like a repaint of the Elite 33, but that works better for me. I, I like it. I like it a lot more. I thought that the fan take overhead would be better but this one works and I don't have two copies of that so I'm going with the tongue out. I think it worked out great. We have a look at our two Rey Mysterios. They turned out pretty solid. They're not perfect by any means but I think I'd probably take those stars off if you know if I had one more little extra thing and then putting a black singlet torso or yellow singlet torso over here would do wonders for it. I think if you put a black singlet torso over here and then maybe put the gauntlets from this guy over here with the black and yellow stripes you know like playing around with some different rays I think that would be cool. I don't mind the black boots over here on this Ray. I think both of them turned out pretty quality. Now, I think these are probably the best three in terms of quality. Like, we got our ultimate fix up for a WrestleMania Hulk Hogan right here with the white and accurate boots. This torso looks way better than the Elite. It's just, it's just immaculate. I think it turned out perfectly. You know, very simple. Something you could do at the house. All you gotta do is have an Ultimate Edition Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Switch the boots with the Elite. Switch the hands for regular hands. And that's it. You're done. So that's a very easy thing you could do yourself. We also have the Jeff Hardy fix up. Now, this this turned out a lot better than I was expecting. White pants with the zebra and the black green all tying together with the face paint. Like, my God in heaven, man. This may be one of the best Jeffs. Now, this is a custom face paint that I designed myself based off of a painting that Jeff Hardy made himself, and I sent it to BEW. We got that head sculpt a long time ago, but I think this is the perfect formula for what I wanted. I think this, per this is money right here. Absolute money. I love this. This is fantastic. Face paint to jersey to sleep leaves to everything chef's kiss and then last but not least is the beautiful seth rollins in pink suit this is fantastic if you guys are worried about the height seth and jeff are pretty even in height and i think this this gets the job done you know i don't think you're gonna have any issues with it if you guys want to do this yourselves you get your nice jacket suit full pink suit for seth rollins it makes the world go around this is money right here great articulation updated look at seth rollins you can plop some different head sculpts on there but i like this one the most for this the smirk the man bun pink suit i'm getting the hell out man i think it's total money had a lot of fun today on appointment i think it was a great episode tons of great quality stuff that we always enjoy right here man but that is going to wrap up today's video hope you guys did enjoy leave me your thoughts on all this stuff down in the comment section below i'm getting out of here what's your favorite fix up for me it's got to be rollins or, 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 or it's got to be rollins or hardy i mean that's just the way it is but i'll see you guys next time have a blessed one